I'm here with the festival chairman of the St. Mary of Carmen Society's festival. And Chuck, Pro Chuck, you have some sad news to report today, um, a decision that just came forth recently. Can you tell us what that is? Yeah, the, the 85th annual St. Mary of Carmen Society, we've had to suspend it for this year because of the pandemic that's all around us and in, in, in affecting many city events. Um, it's a very sad feeling for the committee that we had to come to this decision. We spent a few months looking at different options, Jen, as far as uh, later in the summer or, or being able to do things safely with social distancing, but we just could not come to any way other than having to cancel it this year. Um, it's just, it's just, it's breaking our hearts all around and our families also and uh, we know how much it's hurting people uh, but we we need to make this decision so that we can continue this in the in the next few years and, and as long as we can keep it uh, we, we felt that if we didn't and we got people sick it would have been a, a death knell for the festival itself this would have been the well this is the 85th year of the saint mary of carmen society um, and the festival to have happened this year would have been its 85th year. How important is this festival um, for the community doing it for so long and this being the first year that it's not happening obviously is very devastating for everyone, but how important is this festival and is the society um, for Nonantum and Newton? Well, you know, this is the 85th um, through world wars, other issues that have come up over the years, this has never happened. This is the first year it's, it's ever had to be canceled. Um, in some form or fashion, it always ran. Uh, we have pictures from the war years in 1940 of, of people at festival running around and doing their thing and, 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 and marching in the procession. Um, and it's just for, for the neighborhood, for the, for the city, I, I think we've become something that every year in July, the city as a whole um, looks forward to the, this, this time. It, it, we not only just bring our neighborhood together, we bring the city together, and just at a time that most people are not around, we come back and, and, and enjoy ourselves together. And it's almost like a rite of passage um, for everybody to make, make it down there at least one night. Um, this is a major fundraiser. This is our major fundraiser. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to affect us being able to support the different charities and, and, and uh, families that who need and come to us. The scholarships that we provide every year to graduating seniors. Um, so we're going to find a way to continue to fund those without this. So we are going to continue. We do an ad book every year for the festival. We are going to continue to solicit that for that. Mm -hmm. um, we are planning to continue to do some of the things that we would normally do for a festival. Uh, lines on Adam Street. We're gonna and this is kind of to help ease the pain, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, both ease the pain and kind of, you know, when those the, we put we paint the lines and we put the flags and the pole banners up, uh, it tends to bring a little bit of joy and happiness to the remembrance of what we've done in the past and put together the, the pole banners have pictures of past persons and past uh, festivals on them. And it just provides to me and to many of the committee members, just a, a, a wonderful um, um, thoughts that I think right now we need. And that's one of the reasons why we want to do that. Um, again, I think it's 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 just something important that even though we're not going to have the full festival, we'll be able to do something that kind of reminds us that, yeah, we're still coming back. We're going to be here again as soon as it's safe to do so. So will you be holding any other types of celebrations or, you know, mini awareness for uh, the society and throughout Nonantum and Newton? Well, we will continue to support uh, uh, places and events like we're, we, just last week we uh, made a donation to the John and Barry Boys and Girls Club and their food drive. Um, they support uh, are supporting right now 25 families um, with uh, weekly uh, uh, donation of food to each of the families to get them through. So we we made a, a significant. Uh, uh, we went out and bought the food. <laughs> right. Went out and did it. Made the made, brought it over to them. So. Uh, 
things like that we're going to continue to do continue to support many of the um other organizations or people in need um especially during during this time there's going to be people coming to us so uh like i said we're going to be doing the ad book we're hopefully we're going to keep monitoring the situation maybe there we, we have a uh um, in, in the fall we usually have a, a banquet dinner dance that's uh that we run um we're hoping that that's going to be able to run um if say October, uh, we get something that makes what's happening right now look a little bit, you know, not a little bit, but a lot more safer. Uh, maybe we will do something at that point. We'll keep monitoring the situation, uh, even if it's a small, smaller size event than the five days. It's always possible. We're willing to go through the machinations and get things, get it done if that, if, if that's possible. Uh, we'll pray to pray that that happens, but. Um, we continue to do that. We sell Christmas trees in, in, in December, um, and hopefully that will continue also. But it's, it's, we're, not, we're not in control. We found that out very simply. This, this, what's going on is, is, is running life at this point, and it's unfortunate. But I think uh, with who we are and who we've always been, it's important to do the right thing and, be, and make sure we take care of everybody. Um, and you being a firefighter, obviously you've been on the front lines and seen some of this. So having to ha being the festival chair and having to cancel um, kind of coincides with what you've been seeing out in the in the real world, I guess. Yeah, it's it's been a, an interesting couple months. Uh, normally at this time, I'm I'm making my rounds at City Hall. I'm going through the hearings and talking to people and and doing the, getting all the permit and applications. And we were doing that. I was doing that in. All the time I was going to my job, seeing every day when I went to my job what was people were facing and what we were facing. So in the back of my mind, I had that feeling for the last couple of months. So um, yeah, it's it's been it's been uh, tough, it's been uh, rough. But I like I said, um, um, hopefully you know we'll all get through this. The only way we're going to do this is get through this together. Uh, it's it's. As much as this is splitting us apart, we have to come together, and and that's what the festival has always been about. That's always what it, 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 you know, families and friends and neighbors and coming together and enjoying themselves. And um, unfortunately, we may not be able to do it now, but we're looking forward to doing it you know, when we can. Hopefully, in a full sense next summer. Absolutely. So, how can one um, maybe help out or get in touch with you? You know, help fundraise something along those lines. Sure, we have a website, stmaryofcarmen.org. Uh, there's ways to donate funds through that website. Uh, we're going to be uh, soliciting for an ad book with also dedication pages in it. So that might be a good way of, of uh, being involved this year. Uh, that, that would be a lot of help for us. Um, uh, just contact us through the website. Like I said, stmaryofcarmen.org. You can check us out on Twitter, uh, Instagram. We're all there. We'll, you'll keep seeing things going on, what we're doing. And if you'd like to be a part of it or help us out, it'd be, be uh, very grateful. Well, I thank you, Chef, for coming on. And, and even though providing us with the sad news, we know that we'll see you again soon. Jen, thank you. And thank you for your help. And thank you uh, for continuing to um, uh, highlight what we do. You got it. We'll chat soon. Thank you. All right, thanks, Chuck.